Two decades ago, Boy Meets World sounded off for the last time in the spring of 2000. The coming-of-age show that followed the antics of Corey Matthews, played by Ben Savage, his entourage of friends, and his love interest Topanga, played by Danielle Fischel, was created by Michael Jacobs and April Kelly. When it first aired in 1993, young Corey was bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. He was only in the sixth grade and just then figuring out how everything worked. Corey, alongside his older brother Eric and his best friend Sean, played by Will Friedel and Ryder Strong respectively, grew up right before our eyes on the show's seven seasons. By the show's finale, Topanga and Corey would be married and heading off to New York to start their new lives. Anyone that had a TV in the 90s was more than likely familiar with the Matthews family and fell in love with the show's lighthearted, uplifting message. But I bet there are a few things you never knew about Corey and the gang, regardless of how big a fan you are. Stick around until the end of the video to see who was the very special co-star that played Corey's little brother Joshua in the show's finale. Facts First presents Six Surprising Facts About Boy Meets World. Before we get down to business, do us a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications with the bell icon so you never miss one of our videos. Mr. Feeney almost quit the show before it even got going. It's rather inconceivable to picture anyone else playing Mr. Feeney other than William Daniels. He was more than just Corey's teacher. He was a friend, mentor, and guru of sorts. He always had sage words of wisdom to say, even if Corey didn't necessarily want to hear it at the time. But he was always on point. Between quoting Grecian poets and discussing the facts of life, William Daniels embodied his role perfectly and became one of the standout features of the show. Despite being one of the most beloved characters of the series, he almost left the show before it even got started. When Jacobs first presented his pilot to network executives by means of a table read, which is when the cast reads through their parts as a sort of trial run, well, network executives were skeptical of Mr. Feeney's final lines, where he quoted Shakespeare rather eloquently so as to make a point. They reasoned that their target audience probably had no interest in Shakespeare and ordered the part to be cut before Daniels even got a chance to read his lines. Well, by the end of the table read, Daniels was furious his lines were cut. He figured his character's philosophical meanderings and love of the arts and classic literature were a defining piece of his persona. If he couldn't embody those elements, he didn't want anything to do with it. He went to Jacob's office and promptly quit. Jacobs knew Daniels was a crucial cast member for the show to succeed, and begged he would give him just 12 hours to make things right again. He reluctantly agreed to the terms. In the morning, Jacobs pulled the original script out of his desk and sent it to Daniels, who was so impressed with the prompt revision, he vowed to stick with the show till the end. What he didn't quite realize was that Jacobs wasn't a fast worker, but merely had already had the formerly rejected script in his back pocket, ready to go. You can visit Corey's High School if you're ever in Ohio. Yep, the school that Mr. Feeney, Sean, Topanga, and Corey so often were seen is a real place. At 2515 Clifton Avenue, in a neighborhood called Clifton Heights in Cincinnati, Ohio, is the location used as the backdrop for the high school where it all went down. Not only was the location used as the backdrop for the opening theme, but many other shots were filmed on location here. Hughes High School, built in 1853 and named after a shoemaker named Thomas Hughes, still stands to this day and is worth visiting if you're ever in the Cincinnati area and a fan of the show. Topanga got her funky name from a real-life landmark. If you're not familiar with Southern California, then Topanga's name probably doesn't ring any bells. When Michael Jacobs was driving down the road one day, he got a phone call from ABC putting him on the spot to give them the name of the female character in the show played ever so endearingly by Danielle Fischel. She wasn't in the pilot and only showed up in the show on episode 4. At the time, she was a zany, new-age hippie child. It's actually rather fascinating to see her role evolve into such a key focal point of Corey's life. She was initially going to be named Kanoga and would be a relatively insignificant classmate in Corey's class, meant primarily for comedic relief. Anyway, when Jacobs got that phone call, he was passing Topanga Canyon Boulevard. So when he was asked what her name was, he blurted out Topanga, and they ate it up. She and Corey had so much on-screen chemistry, they expanded her role. The rest is history. Corey wasn't his real name. You heard that right. Corey had a little secret that wouldn't be revealed until the series finale. Jacobs wanted to show the viewers that Mr. Feeney and Corey's relationship had grown beyond merely an academic student-teacher kind of dynamic. 
In the final scene of Brave New World Part 2, the show's closing episode, Corey asks Mr. Feeney if they know each other well enough to call him Corey instead of Mr. Matthews. Mr. Feeney replies they know each other well enough for him to call him by his real name, Cornelius. It's a rather touching scene where Daniels uses the reveal as a display of his love. Corey, however, quickly shushes him and says that even Topanga didn't know his true name. Corey, don't you know you shouldn't keep secrets from the ones you love? Sean's dad was always going to live on. As shocking as it was not only to the show's characters and audience alike for Sean's dad to suddenly die of a heart attack in season 6, it was never meant to be the end of his character. It's rather atypical for sitcoms to kill off a character that's the head of a family. But Chet, played by Blake Clark, was struggling to be an important role in the show. Jacobs figured he might add more value to the series if he were to die but linger on as a ghost. Once he passed away, he would routinely show up to give advice or guide Sean in the right direction when he needed it the most. It's hard to assess whether he was a better component of the show, alive or dead, but Jacob expressed that at least when he was dead, he was really effective, whatever that means. Michael Jacobs' own son played Joshua Matthews. One of the Boy Meets World's last scenes is a touching moment where Corey and his kid brother sit down and go over some life lessons and memories. The scene is particularly poignant because it's the moment that Corey finally realizes what the show's name meant. Initially, Joshua was played by a different actor, but that kid apparently was running around the set, causing trouble and breaking things. So Jacob called his wife up and told her to bring over his son, Danny. Even though Danny had no formal acting training or experience, he nailed the scene without even flinching. When Corey says the scene's key line, boy meets world, now I get it. The live audience erupted with laughter and applause. Danny Jacobs remained composed and didn't even peek at the audience. The moment was so memorable that Danny would return to the TV screen once more in 2017 on Girl Meets World, the spin-off Disney Channel show, to have a similar moment. Jacob said he wanted to do this not only as a kind of token fanfare gift, but also so he could show audiences how that once little boy grew up. Well, we hope this video does justice to the show that defined what a sitcom could be in the 90s. Few show's cast of characters have captured our hearts quite like those on Boy Meets World. When the show finally wrapped up, it was a bittersweet goodbye to old friends that we had formed an intimate connection to over the years. It was hard to say goodbye. But now it's time to hear from all you fine people. Who was your favorite character in Boy Meets World? Are you a fan of the wise, charismatic Mr. Feeney, or do you still secretly have the hots for Topanga? Let us know in the comments what you think. Before you head out, though, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to Faxverse for more videos like this.